हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल यू आर वाचिंग द लूसेंट जनरल नॉलेज ऑडियो सीरीज ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी दिस इज वीडियो नंबर सिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द चैप्टर टेन दैट इज इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर इंडियन फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम Indian financial system is a system in which people, financial institutions, bank, industrial companies, and the government demand for fund, and the same is supplied to them. There are two parts. Two parts of Indian financial system: first, demand side, and second, supply side. The representative of demand side can be individual investor, industrial, and business companies, government, and etc. And the representative of supply side. will be bank insurance companies mutual fund and other financial institutions the indian financial system which refers to the borrowing and lending of funds or to the demand for and the supply of funds for of all individual institution companies and of the government consists of two parts the indian money market and uh, next is indian capital market let's talk about the indian money market the indian money market is the market in which short term funds are borrowed and lent the capital market in india on the other hand is the market for medium term and long term funds the indian financial system performs a crucial role in economic development of india through saving investment process also known as capital formation the financial system is commonly classified into first in an industrial finance second agricultural finance third development finance and fourth government finance devaluation means lowering the official value of the local money in terms of foreign currency or gold balance of payment BOP is a systematic record of all economic transaction between one country and rest of the world in a given period. Balance of trade is the difference between the value of goods exported and the value of goods imported per annum. Service not included in BOT. BOP is divided in current account and capital account. Exim policy 2000 uh, to 2001 introduced basal economic zone schemes scz 94 to 95 indian rupee was made fully convertible on current account next indian uh, fiscal policy is the policy relating to public revenue and public expenditure and allied matters usually the indian money market is classified into organized sector and unorganized sector the next the unorganized sector consists of indigenous bankers including the non banking financial companies and bfcs beside these two three uh, are many sub market in the indian money market the organized banking system in india can be broadly divided into three categories first central bank of the country known as reserve bank of the india the second commercial bank and the cooperative bank which include private sector and public sector bank and also foreign banks next the highest financial institution in organized sector is reserve bank of india and in addition to this bank of public sector banks of private sector foreign banks and other financial institution are also part of organized sector next the reserve bank of india regulates and control the money of the country next the rbi was established under the reserve bank of india act 1934 on 1st april 1935 with a capital of rupees 5 crore it was nationalized on 1st january 1949 on the recommendation of parliamentary committee in 1948 it is the central bank of india The Reserve Bank of India is the supreme monetary and banking authority in the country and has the responsibility to control the banking system in the country. It keeps the reserve of all commercial banks and hence is known as the Reserve Bank of India. Its financial year is 1st July to 30 June.
द इंडियन कैपिटल मार्केट द इंडियन कैपिटल मार्केट इज द मार्केट फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल इट रिफर्स टू ऑल द फैसिलिटीज एंड इंस्टीट्यूशनल अरेंजमेंट फॉर बोरोइंग एंड लैंडिंग टर्म फंड मीडियम टर्म एंड लॉन्ग टर्म फंड सेकेंड द कैपिटल मार्केट इन इंडिया इंक्लूड फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज गिल्ट एज मार्केट सेकेंड इंडस्ट्रियल सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट थर्ड डेवलपमेंट फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक आई एफ सी आई आई डी बी आई आई सी आई सी आई एस एफ सी आई आई बी आई यू टी आई एक्सट्रा फोर फाइनेंशियल इंटरमीडियर इज लाइक मर्चेंट बैंक नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इंडिविजुअल हु इन्वेस्ट डायरेक्टली ऑन देयर ओन इन सिक्योरिटीज आर ऑल्सो सप्लायर ऑफ फंड टू कैपिटल मार्केट The trend in the capital market is basically affected by two important factors. First, operation of the institutional investor in the market, and second, the excellent result flowing in from the corporate sector. The capital market in India can be classified into glitch-edged market or market for government and semi-government securities. Second, industrial securities market. Third, development financial institutions, and fourth. non banking financial companies the gilt edge securities market is the market for government and semi government securities which carry fixed interest rates the industrial securities market is the market for equities and debentures of companies of the corporate sector this market is further classified into a new issues markets for raising fresh capital in the form of shares and debentures commonly referred to as primary market and second b old issues market for secondary market for buying or selling shares and debenture of existing companies this market is commonly referred to as stock market or stock exchange If shares or debentures of private corporations, primary securities of government companies, or new securities and issues of bonds of public sector are sold or purchased in capital market, then market is called primary capital market. Page number three fifty. Secondary market include transaction in the stock exchange and gift aged market. Merchant bank, mutual fund, leasing companies, risk capital companies, and extra collect and invest public money into the capital market. Unit Trust of India is the biggest mutual fund institution of India. Next topic: stock exchange. The first point: the stock exchange is the market for buying and selling of stocks, shares, securities. bonds and debentures and extra it increases the market ability of existing security by providing simple method for public and other to buy and sell securities second the first organized sector stock exchange in india was started in bombay now mumbai when the native share brokers association known as bombay stock exchange was formed by the brokers in 1875 bs bsc in asia oldest stock exchange in 1894 the ahmedabad stock exchange was started to facilitate uh, dealings in the shares of textile mills there next point the calcutta stock exchange was started in 19 1908 to provide a market for shares of plantation and jute mills next The number of stock exchange rose from 7 in 1939 to 21 in 1945 Next, under the Securities Contract Regulation Act of 1956, the Government of India has so far recognized 23 stock exchange. Bombay is the premier exchange in the country. Next, with the setting uh, up of National Stock Exchange, all regional stock exchange has uh, have lost relevance. The BSE transformed itself into a corporate entity from being a broker association from the middle of the August 2005. As a public limited company BSC Bombay Stock Exchange is obliged to dilute stock broker stake to 49% to prevent excessive speculation and volatility in the stock market SBI has introduced rolling settlement from 2 July 2001 under which settlement has to be made every day some important share price index of India another highlighted topic 
फर्स्ट पॉइंट बी सेंसेक्स दिस इज द मोस्ट सेंसिटिव शेयर इंडेक्स ऑफ द मुंबई स्टॉक एक्सचेंज दिस इज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इंडेक्स ऑफ थर्टी मेन शेयर इस बेस ईयर इज 1978-79. It is the oldest stock exchange in India, founded in 1875. BSE 200. This represents 200 shares of Mumbai Stock Exchange. Its base year is 1989 to 1990. Next is Dolex. Index of 200 BSE Dollar Value Index is called Dolex. Its base year is 1989 to 90. NSC 50 from 28 July 1998 its name is S&P CNX Nifty National Stock Exchange has launched a new share price index NSC 50 in place of NSC 100 in April 1996 NSC 50 include 50 company share this stock exchange was founded in Fairwani committee recommendation in 1994 Crisil set up in 1988 is a credit rating agency it undertake the rating fixed deposit programs convertible and non convertible debentures and also credit assessment of companies crisil 500 this is the new share price index introduced by credit rating agency the credit rating information service of india limited crisil on january 18 1996 the national stock exchange nse has launched a new version of its online trading software called national exchange for automatic trading neat neat this is not the exam of uh, medical student neat and double et this is neat regulators of india one highlighted box is given i am waiting for some moment so you can read it by own now okay now the next is ranking in india in different indexes as in march 2015 some point is given 1 to 9 the first point 1 india has emerged second most trusted country in the world in terms of faith response on its institution the list is topped by uae with 84% trust second transparency international india tii Corruption Index India ranked 85th among 175. Denmark topped in this index. World Bank uh, third point. World Bank ease of doing business report India ranked 142 among the 189 countries. Singapore top four. World Economic Forum 2015 Gender Gap Index 114. Iceland top is the list. Followed by Finland and Norway. Fifth point, Global Hunger Index report 2014 to 55. Mauritius topped, followed by Thailand and Albania. Sixth number, Human Development Index 2014 to 135. Norway top, followed by Australia. Seven, Intellectual Property IP Environment 2015. 29 US top, Thailand last. Eight. In the World Press Freedom Index 2015, India ranked 136 in the list of 180 countries. Nine world best countries for doing business. 2014, India ranked 134. Ten Global Peace Index 2014, India ranked 143. Iceland was top in the list. And Syria is the most violent place. Global Innovation Index, two thousand fourteen. India ranked seventy six. Global Competitiveness Index, two thousand fourteen. India ranked seventy one. Switzerland is the most competitive economy, followed by Singapore. Thank you, everyone. all the best for your uh, competition and whatever you are preparing for thank you video agar achhi lagi ho to use like zarur karna thank you